You've heard us talk about VLC before. It's our favorite Swiss Army knife of video players. This is one of those apps that even people who don't know what FOSS is has heard of it. Well, it's called VLC, and it's been downloaded over 100 million times, so you know it's a very widely used and trusted program. We have between 800,000 and 1 million downloads per day. Uh, we've always refused to have like tracking uh, stuff in VLC, so we can't know the numbers of how many people are actually using it and when, because basically that's spying. Sure, I know, everyone spies all the time, even if it's for telemetrics or whatever the name you put on it, but it's still spying, right? Uh, so we don't have that. The user base of VLC is between, I would say, 250 and 400 millions which makes it one of the largest software. To be honest, we've been offered some insane amount of money to do bad stuff on VLC, like shipping toolbars at the same time of the installer of VLC or installing other software like Google Chrome and so on. And when you see the numbers they propose you, you're just like, how the fuck am I going to say no to that? The thing is, it's not only my project, so I'm not allowed to do that. Uh, the legacy of other people, that wouldn't be moral. I don't care if you're uh, a woman uh, in Australia, if you're a guy from uh, San Francisco, if you're someone in the Middle East or in Siberia, or even if you're a dog or a cat, I don't care. As long as your code is great and it makes the software good, good, give it. VLC is one of the largest um, open source projects that is still in the hippie way, if I may say. Um, we are one of the only ones who are still a community uh, with people working mostly on their free time. So the core contributors of VLC are five or six, so that's a very, very small team. And then we have the, the important people that are contributing uh, a lot, is around 15. And then we have Every year, 100 different contributors that just arrive, say, oh, I did that, please merge it, or please don't. And that's how it advances. Videoland employs no people. Oh. So the nonprofit has no money, and we have no employees. How do you survive? <laughs> well, for a long time, I had other jobs. Um, until 2012, I had other jobs. And since a few years, I started a company around video, right? Around VLC and other open source uh, technologies. But this is a separate company that is doing service um, around VLC and helps, of course, the projects. But the nonprofit has no employee and no money. We have fun. Uh, we work on something that is challenging. Uh, we have lots of users for now. Uh, we have a cool team and good communities. And we are making stuff that people like, right? Why not? It's great when I go on, on the other side of the planet, when I got my VLC t-shirt and people in the street stop me and say, oh, you're doing VLC? It's amazing. And that's great because you, you feel that you're doing something that is helping people. Of course, it's not like solving hunger or like stuff that really matter, but still it's good. You're just making some people happy at some time. That's great.